Welcome, today we continue the series of videos, Send Emails with Spring Boot. We will explain how we can send attachments with Timeleaf templates and a Google Gmail account. We are starting a new project in Eclipse. In the Palm XML we have the following dependencies. Spring Boot Starter 3.1.5 Java version 21 Spring Boot Starter Web Spring Boot Starter Email Spring Boot Starter Timeleaf Timeleaf Spring 6 and Timeleaf Layout Dialect Then the application YAML file server port 8080 and all the settings to send an email username here you must use your own name host port password if you want to test the code you will have to create a new password for your own account this password is no longer valid protocol auth Start TLS required. Start TLS enabled. And debug. All properties are read into the mail config class and sent to the Java mail sender. In the mail sender service we make the Java mail sender and spring template engine available with constructor injection. In the send HTML mail method we start with my message create my message context and set the username as a variable this time we have a second set variable for the logo we use the template engine to create the text for the email then create a my message helper in the helper we put the necessary configuration and send the message important in this video is the add inline method for the logo and add attachment for the attachment now we can send the email. The last class is a REST controller to send an email as HTML with an attachment. The next files are the template and the attachment. The email HTML file is a standard HTML file, you can adjust this file to your own preferences, what is important here is the way we load the logo. The last file is a small text file which we will send as an attachment to the email. We have started the project and can now test it out. In a browser window we open localhost port 8080 email. After a little pause we get the answer from the Spring Boot application. In our email program we have now received a new email from our program. With the expected subject and body. We see the logo and can download the Spring Boot text attachment. That's it for this video, thank you for following us and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel.